In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step on how you can make a very simple and basic crypto tracker straight in your very own Google spreadsheet. And for example, you can see here, if we delete this data here, let's say I bought Bitcoin, I'll plug in BTC right here, and we'll say I bought 0 0.005 Bitcoin at a purchase price of about $50,000. I'll hit enter and you can see all this data is going to automatically load in, all this data automatically updates and our charts automatically update as well. And of course, we have automatically pulled in the current live price for Bitcoin straight into our spreadsheet and this can automatically update. So let's go ahead and jump in how to do this. And like always, you can always download any of my spreadsheets at tickerdata.com at the link in the description. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our crypto tracker. The first thing I'll come up here and do is just type in crypto tracker to give this spreadsheet a title. Now, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this whole thing a header. Let's just go ahead and space this out just a little bit. You can close this in by merging the cells. We'll give it borders and I'm just going to type out crypto tracker right here and hit enter. Now let's go ahead and center this text right here and we'll go ahead and increase the font size as well. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and come down and we're actually gonna start the tracking right here. Now the things we wanna see is we wanna know the coin that we're gonna be tracking. We wanna know the amount that we bought and we also need to know the purchase price that we bought in at. Those are the three metrics we'll need to manually plug in for the rest of our tracker to automatically fill in. Now the next things we wanna see we want to know the current price of the crypto we're currently trying to track. We want to know our cost basis and we want to know our market value as well. And the other things we probably want to see is we want to know what our dollar gain on that position is. And then we also are going to want to know what our growth on that position is. So, okay, these are the metrics that we want to see. We'll go ahead, give these borders and we can center this text as well. Now the next thing I want to do, it looks like we added one extra space here. We can go ahead and fix that. We'll just close this back in and we will fix the borders here. And okay, so now we're good to go again. Now let's go ahead and list off some example data right here. Maybe you want to say we bought Bitcoin and let's say we bought Ethereum as well. And then let's go ahead and say we bought Dogecoin also. So now we have three different cryptos in our portfolio that we want to automatically track. Let's go ahead and list off the amount we bought. Let's say that we bought um, we'll say we bought one half of a Bitcoin. We'll put in 0.5. We'll say we bought into Ethereum and we'll say we bought 1000 Dogecoin. Now we want to list off what our purchase price for each of these investments were. Let's say that our purchase price for Bitcoin was about $50,000. I'll plug that in. We'll say our purchase price for Ethereum was around $3,200. And then we can say our purchase price for Dogecoin was around six cents. So that's the only data that we have to manually plug in for this tracker to work. Now we get to the fun part. That's pulling in the current price for each of these cryptos. And thanks to the help of ticker data, we can automatically pull this in. Now ticker data is a Google Sheets spreadsheet integration tool that allows you to automatically pull in stock financials and also crypto financials. And it will automatically refresh these values for us as well. Now I have a link to ticker data in the description down below, so be sure to check that out if you want to automatically be able to track crypto and stocks, or if you want to download any of my spreadsheets like the one you see here. But let's go ahead and talk about how this works. If we come up here to extensions, go to ticker data and click login. We can see I'll come into the login page, I'll come up here and click refresh and return to sheet. And okay, so what this has done is if I use equals and start typing ticker, you can now see we have the ticker data function and the ticker data live function. So if I plug in ticker data live right here, what I can do is I can type in BTC, which stands for Bitcoin, and then the currency I want to see it in. So USD, close this quotations, and then type comma, and then I just need to type out price, close this, and hit enter. And you can see the current price for Bitcoin is currently loading in, and there it is. It has automatically loaded in, so we can see the current price for Bitcoin sitting at $69,506 per coin. Now, here's the problem with this. If we plug in the formula that way, it's not currently automated. So for example, if I change this to Ethereum, you can see nothing changed here. If I change it back to Bitcoin, nothing changed here. We want this current price to update based upon the coin that is listed right here. So I was messing around with the ticker data function just the other day, and I found a way to automatically pull this in. I'll go ahead and close off this, 
So if I plug in the formula here, you can see what works to pull in the current price. Again, we're using that ticker data live function. We're looking at what is in cell B11 and using the concat function to combine that with USD, which is the currency we want to see it in. And then we want to see the current price. I'll have the, I'll be sure to have this formula pasted in the comments down below. But if I hit enter right here again, you can see the current price automatically loads in. But this time, if I were to change this to Ethereum, I type in ETH and hit enter, you can see it's going to automatically load in the price of Ethereum now. So if I change this back to Bitcoin, it's going to automatically load in the current price for Bitcoin. So this is a very powerful formula and it's, and it's going to allow us to build out a lot of other metrics. So the next thing we want to see is our cost. What was our cost basis for this position? And we can easily see this by taking the amount we purchased and we multiply it by our purchase price. So I'll hit enter right here and I'll go ahead and drag this down. And we can make this dollar signs as well. So we can see our cost for Bitcoin was 25,000, Ethereum 6,400, and Dogecoin around 6,000. Let's go ahead and also pull down the current price. This is what's really cool about this formula. It's completely automated, so I can just drag this down. And you can see we now have the current price for Ethereum and Dogecoin automatically loaded in. But now we want to know what the market value is for our positions. So not the cost, the actual market value as of right now. To see that, we can come over here and take the amount we bought. And we want to multiply that by the current price of the asset we bought. So I'll hit enter and go ahead and use this autofill. So now we can see the market value for each of these positions. And what this allows us to easily do now is we can see our dollar gain. So I'll just take the market value and subtract out our cost basis. And now we can see how much we've gained in a dollar amount from each of these positions. So for example, Bitcoin, I would be up around 9,700, Ethereum around 582 and Dogecoin up over $151. So just like that, with the help of the ticker data add-on in Google Sheets, we have a lot of great insights into our portfolio. And the last thing that I want to see is going to be the growth of each of these positions. So to see our growth, we're going to take our dollar gain and then simply divide this by our cost and hit enter. And you can see we're going to have decimals come up. But if we come up here and make this a percentage, now we can see the growth in each of these positions as a percentage. So in the scenario, I would be up around 39% on Bitcoin, around 9% on Ethereum, and over 252% on Dogecoin. So all of a sudden, our tracker is starting to come together pretty quickly. It's pretty automated. So again, if I were to delete this data, let's say I bought Dogecoin and I bought, let's say, 10,000 Dogecoins at a purchase price of, we'll say this time, 15 cents per coin. I'll hit enter. And you can see all this data is going to automatically load in. We can see the current price, our cost market value, dollar gain and growth. But I want to see even more insights into this crypto tracker. So there's a couple of more things that I can do. Let's say, for example, I want to know the market value for all the holdings in my portfolio. We can easily see that. I'll type in market value right here and we'll go ahead and combine these here and give this outer borders. And I can use the sum formula right here and just sum anything that is in this market value column here and hit enter. And we can see the total market value for my crypto coins is 43,000. Now, maybe I want to see the gains and loss. What I can do is I'll just copy and paste this over here. This time I'll type in gain slash loss. And I want to see this as a dollar amount. So I'll put a dollar sign here and I'll just do equal sum once again. And we can just sum these values here. So in the scenario, it looks like I'm up around $10,000. Let's go ahead and fix this. And maybe there's one more thing that I want to see. I can come over here and let's say I want to look at my gain or loss as a percentage. This time I'll do equals. I'll take my gain or loss right here. And what I need to do is divide it by the sum of the entire cost for my portfolio. So I'll do sum and we'll come down here and take the cost of all of this here and hit enter and it needs to be a percentage so I'll correct this up here but we can see my entire gain would be around 33.28 percent so again we're quickly getting some great insights into my portfolio let's go ahead and start cleaning this up a little bit we'll go ahead and center all of this text by clicking these here we can increase the font size of these So now our crypto tracker is starting to come together, but there's one more thing that I want to do. Let's say, for example, I want to see some of these metrics charted out so I can highlight everything here. And let's say that I want to know the growth of each of these positions. I can highlight everything here as well. If I come up here and click on insert, click on chart, 
we can see each of these positions growth charted out. So I can just drag this down here. Let's go ahead and make this just a little bit smaller. And we'll place this right here. And then maybe this time I wanna see the coin again, but I wanna know what my gain is as a dollar amount. We can easily do that. I'll come up here and click insert and click on chart. And this time we can see the gain on each of these positions as a dollar amount. So let's go ahead and shrink this chart down a little bit to where it's a similar size to the other one. And then we can just drag it over here. So now we have two very important charts. We can go ahead and customize these charts so we can tell what we're looking at a little bit more. I'll come to setup and scroll up. Let's go to chart style. We can color this in just a little bit and we wanna give it a title and we can just make this title dollar gain. And maybe for this chart, we do something similar. We give it a quick color and we wanna give it a title. Let's say we wanna title it percent gain. So now we have even more insights into our portfolio. And let's go ahead and plug in just a few more coins to fill this out a little bit more. Let's say we bought Solana and we bought 200 coins. Actually, let's make it, let's say we bought around 80 coins at a purchase price of 180. And we'll just put that there. And then I can just drag these formulas down that we just created. And you can see all this data is going to automatically load in. All these metrics are going to automatically update and we can see our charts are going to automatically update as well. So again, this is a very powerful tool. Let's go ahead and say, just for the sake of the charts looking cleaner, we bought around 0.2 Bitcoin. Um, let's actually make it around 0.05 Bitcoin. So now our charts look just a little bit cleaner in this example scenario. But now we can just color everything in the way we want it. Maybe we wanna make the most of this chart blue. We can just go ahead and color these in. Let's make it a little bit lighter. And again, you can color this in however you want it. I'm just messing around with some different colors as of right now. And then we can color in these metrics here as well. And then maybe you wanna color these in also. And just like that, you can see we pretty were and just like that, you can see we were pretty quickly able to make a pretty phenomenal crypto tracker. Now, we were able to make this spreadsheet with the help of the ticker data add-on automatically pulling in the financials into our spreadsheet. And I've been able to build a lot of other spreadsheets that are extremely powerful with the help of the ticker data add-on. And for example, this is another crypto tracker I was able to recently build with the help of the ticker data add-on. And again, for example, let's say I bought Bitcoin and I bought 0.02 at a purchase price of around $50,000. I'll hit enter and again, you can see all this data will automatically load in. So again, the ticker data function is extremely powerful in allowing you to track your financials. So like always, if you'd like to be able to download the ticker data add-on in Google Sheets and also get access to any of my spreadsheets, then you can head over to tickerdata.com at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.